something you need of me? Ready? Of course. It would be my pleasure. Meditation envy? Why don't you go sit on a rocket? Calm down. What is your problem? I don't want to talk about it. All right. You know, Atten, sometimes it's no wonder you can't figure yourself out the way you lie to yourself all the time. I've hunted a lot of people in my line of work, but I never met someone who wants to get lost more than you do. I've got a pretty good idea why, but not the whole picture. I will, though. My advice? Come clean before I find out. And stop watching her. She's got enough problems. Do you need a hand? No, I don't. Go back to your training. I'll call you if I need someone useless. Is there some problem? I was only offering to help. Problem? No, no problem. Just wondering how long you're planning to stick around. For as long as she needs me, of course. How heroic of you. Well, she doesn't need you. In fact, we were doing just fine until you showed up. Actually, there are times when it seems you could use some help. Always with the details, aren't you? You can't fool me. You have some agenda, spying on her, always keeping your eye on her. No, no, I don't. I, well, I simply admire her. She has many qualities worthy of respect, and a strength that matches her beauty. Surely you've noticed. Yeah, and I noticed first. Get it? So cut it out. And another thing, stop being all noble around her in your big hero way. She sees right through your little act. She likes honest guys, not guys that run around being unselfish and heroic all the time. I thought she was the hero. I wish to show you something. Not with words, but by feeling it. With the Force, close your eyes. Feel the universe. Strip away the life on board the ship. Someone is creating an echo. A resonance in the Force. Someone is consuming life, using it to feed their hunger. Each dying world creates an echo in the Force. And as the echoes build, it becomes a noise. Deafening. Destructive. It touches all life in ways that are invisible to see. The darkness, the despair created from such events breeds and grows. Someone is bringing the dark side to the galaxy through destruction. A critical point is approaching, and the wound must be healed.
About time you showed up. Mandalore ordered me to report here and escort you wherever you need to go on Duxon. Follow me then. You received my message then. A man named Kavar wanted to get a hold of you urgently. He said that the Queen had arranged safe passage to Onderon for you. But I don't know how good their offer is anymore. He wouldn't tell me anything. Just that he wanted to see you. He said it was urgent. But that doesn't matter now. This morning, General Vaklu met with the Council of Lords and declared that the Queen was guilty of treason. He'll be made regent if Talia and her royal guard are defeated. The military is divided on who to support. Civil war has fallen on Isis. I doubt that Queen Talia and her advisor will survive until nightfall. The balance of forces seem to favor Queen Talia. The royal palace is heavily fortified and defensible, and most of the soldiers are loyal to her. But Vaklu has new allies, Sith soldiers and their masters. The war has also driven the caged beasts in the streets mad. Braylor and I both concur. She doesn't stand a chance. You underestimate the Force, Mandalorian. I sense that we may still get to Master Kavar in time. I sense there is something stirring on the moon itself. Tell me, have your senses picked up anything from Duxon? Yes. Yes, we have. How? We picked up some transmissions from nearby in the jungle. We only have our shuttle sensors, so we know nothing more than that. Those transmissions are the enemy. They are linked to the fate of Onderon. They must be stopped. Otherwise, the Mandalorian is right. Master Kavar and Queen Talia won't survive this day. Dividing our forces at a time like this is foolhardy. And this is why a common soldier will never triumph against a Jedi. Your military tactics are nothing compared to the Force. It is essential and inevitable that we face both enemies at the same time. You... you are correct. You must choose who will lead the expedition through the jungle to find our enemies and defeat them. I will serve as you wish. You should send two others to go with the leader. Who else will accompany the expedition? If you say so. And who else? Not the most subtle choice. Now are you certain of your choices? All right, let's try this again. I shall do my best. You should send two others to go. Not the most subtle choice. And who else? Hmm. 
Hmm, okay. Now, are you certain of your choices? Mandalorian warriors will go with you to find the enemy camp. Just let me know when you want to head out. If you need supplies, talk with Kex. After you get into the jungle, you might not have another opportunity to stock up. Let me know if you want to go now. As you wish. Mandalore has arranged for special transportation to get to Isis. Finally, we're close to our objective. I sent the rest of my men to secure the trail behind us. My troops will keep the path to the Mandalorian camp clear. Ahead lies the enemy. I can follow you a little bit further, but then I will set up command and control for my unit in the field. So lead on. Ready? Something you need of me? Hold a moment. Pass the mines. Interjection. That's a primitive security system meat bag. It scans its immediate vicinity for anything it perceives as a threat. One of its many faults is that it can't detect stealth field generators. So, you aren't completely ignorant in the ways of battle? Good. But all of you must pass through its perimeter and undetected would be better.
Ready to serve. Ready? I am listening. Acknowledge me that. Something you need of me? first day on Duxon. My predecessor displeased our masters and was dealt with. The fool let Canox through the perimeter. The Sith don't tolerate any failure. I'm the fifth captain to command this base camp. The camp sits in the shadow of a tomb. My subordinates say that the body of an ancient warlord named Freedom Nerd lies inside. We don't know why we're here. We sit and make sure that no beasts come into our camp, and especially that they don't reach the tomb itself. A bleak assignment. Signing off. This jungle feels similar to Korriban before it fell after the war. Everyone is on edge. Executions for infractions are commonplace. Fifty percent more than my previous command. There's a bloodthirstiness to the jungle. The beasts here continually assault our mind perimeter. We've had to replace the minefields four times so far. We received more equipment and more men today. The equipment went straight inside the tomb. As usual, I have no idea what it contained. We're expecting more Sith to arrive any day. They want us to capture one of the beasts for them. No explanation. Never is. Signing off. Coded messages from Orbit and from Onderon. Sort of conflict is brewing. I think we have a ship in Orbit. We're on full battle alert against what they won't say. The Sith say something about disturbance in the Force. Well, what does that even mean? How do I prepare for that? 
From his tone, the threat is serious. We've put a double shift on monitoring the aerial sensor grid. The only thing that can worry our master so much has to be a dropship invasion from the Onderon military. The Sith said soon we'll have reinforcements. When I asked for details, he said it was a surprise. I hate the ones with a sense of humor. Sith jokes are rarely pleasant. Signing off.
Something you need of me? Yes, Master. Let's move out.
listening. Let's move out. Yeah. 
I am listening. Ready? I am ready. Yeah! <laughs> 
to run to catch up with you. You've made impressive progress. The Sith's camp lies in ruins. I told Kelborn of your progress. The rest of your squad is already en route to Isis. Also, Kex checked our sources for any information about this place. Kex believes that this is the tomb of Freedon Nad. We knew it was somewhere on this moon. We had no idea how close it was to our camp. Uh, some sort of fallen Jedi. He conquered Onderon long ago and became their king. The royal line is directly descended from him. That part of Onderon history the citizens try to leave buried and forgotten. Our priority here wasn't exploration. The mission was salvage in force, and to do so covertly, we have successfully pursued those objectives. Zuka didn't have our long-range sensors operational either. If this camp hadn't been sending messages, we may never have found it. Freedon Nad was a dark Jedi. The stories say he was far worse than Revan and Malak ever were. This place is tainted, and the Sith presence here makes the danger great. I got a bad feeling about this place. Sith and ancient tombs are never a good combination. I am returning outside. My attention is required to keep the path to our camp clear. The time for practice is over. There are intruders in the tomb and they cannot be allowed to reach our master. The ritual must not be interrupted. I don't need to mention the price of failure. Men, follow me.
Something feels wrong here. I, I don't think you should get any closer to it. Even I can sense the dark side here. This thing has to be part of the reason why the Sith are so interested in this place. I won't tell you how to do your job, but I know that I wouldn't get near it.
all the soldiers and beasts are trying to keep us out of that door. It must be something important. I don't suppose I could talk you out of getting in there. I thought not. The door is shut tight. Somewhere down here there's got to be a way to open it. Thank <laughs> you. 
We need just one more moment. We're almost through. Failure, Captain, will not be tolerated. As you command, my lord. This battle is joined. <laughs> 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 Break the ritual now. You're too late. We have done what needed to be done. Soon, Onderon shall fall, and with it, the Republic shall die. But what is this? Uh, of course, the Force has guided you here. It echoes within you, yet I sense it is... untrained. It is good you have sought us out. This tomb is strong with the dark side. Here is where you will take your first steps on the path to your destiny. An adept has managed to come so far. Incredible. You have within you the potential to wield the Force. I'm not speaking of the ways of the Jedi or their flawed teachings. Their order was rooted in weakness. They would have you become a puppet of the Force. They would have you deny the strength of your emotions, the strength of your own will. Can't you feel the power of this place? It echoes through you like a second voice. Accept it. Embrace it. So you seek to save me? From what? With the dark side, there is no knowledge forbidden, no restraints. What can you possibly offer me? Can't you feel the power? Here, within the walls of this tomb. Just embrace it. Don't limit your potential. A shame. Instead of freedom and power, you have chosen death. So be it.
the ritual. You're too late. What is this? It is good, you have... An adept has managed... You have within you the... But they would have you become a... Can't you feel... So you seek to see... Can't you feel the power? Better, sir. <laughs> 